Hi, my name is Tim Buick, PPR Certified Pickleball Professional for Total Pickleball. Because you don't just want a pickleball, you want a total pickleball. And today I'm stoked for what we're going to be covering in this video. We're going to talk about the top five mistakes that are sabotaging your game. You need to fix these if you want to get to the next level. So let's get started. Mistake number one, we're in the wrong place on the court. Right here is winning pickleball. Right here at the non-volley zone line is where we want to be. What I do with my beginners is I have them all line up right on the line and I have them look above the net. How much of the court can you see above the net? Now take three steps back. You see much less of the court above the net. Lesson number one and mistake number one is we're too far back. Here we want to be have the most options by being at the non-volley zone line. Another common situation when you're on the wrong spot in the court is when we're serving and we go ahead and hit a serve and I call it drift. Either me as the server drifts in a little bit too far or my partner does the same thing and drifts in a little bit too far. Again, two bounce rule, we have to let the ball bounce on the serve, but yet our tendency is to drift in, which puts us at a disadvantage. We do not want to backpedal and hit off our back foot. So we need to stay behind the baseline when we're serving, not only for the server, but also for my partner as well. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. Every single time when I hit a return, without exception, I need to get all the way to the line. But what did I do? I hung back, got in trouble, he hit it right at my feet. Always get to the line, return and run to the non-volley zone line every time. Mistake number two, we are in the right position on the court, but we're in the wrong position to hit the ball. Key thing is when we're here where we need to be, which is the non-volley zone line, we need to be in the proper ready position. For the right-hander, there's essentially three ready positions that people use. Nine o'clock, noon, and I teach 10.37 a.m., slightly biased on the backhand side. For the lefty, 1.37 p.m. The reason is 80% of the balls are gonna be right here. Biomechanically, my arm works correctly. I can do the chicken wing to get the body shots. I can't do that if my paddle's out here. So the problem is, is we get to the line, we dink, we're in the right spot, but we're not prepared to hit the ball. We're gonna be involved in some quick hand fights. We can't win a hand fight if our paddle's down at our legs. We've gotta keep the paddle up. It's one of the reasons I got drilled so many times when I first started pickleball. I was here and I wasn't ready to hit the shot. Get your paddle up to 10.37 a.m. ready position and be ready to win the hand fight. Mistake number three is too much movement. So often I see people get out on the pickleball court and they're all over the place. Their arms are flailing, their legs are all over. No, we need to chill out. Calm, quick, and compact. Think of it this way. Happy feet can make for a sad result. One of my favorite sayings in pickleball is less is more. Efficiency of movement. Avoid mistake number three, which is too much movement. If mistake number three is too much movement, mistake number four is not enough movement. So often we have a tendency to be lazy on the court. We don't move our feet. And the problem is, is a lot of times in pickleball, we'll see a ball here and we'll do a large lunge and we'll stretch for it. Especially when we're outdoors, very wind sensitive. So we think that the ball might be here when it ends up over here. If we do a lunge at it, we're stuck and we can't move. So our movements need to be smaller steps. We actually have to have more movement and it has to be the correct movement, which are small steps to the ball make a big difference. The fifth mistake that is sabotaging your game and it's keeping you from getting to the next level is we try to do too much too soon. We don't have patience. One of my favorite sayings in pickleball is make me hit one more ball. 
just make me hit one more. But oftentimes we just try too much too soon. Think about if the bottom third of me is red, middle third is yellow, top third is green. Those are attackable balls. I teach this little lady, she's about this big, big hair, big earrings, bright red lipstick, and I said, Sarah, this is a game of controlled aggression. She says, honey, I got aggression, but I have no control. Well, we need control. We can't try to do too much too soon. Be patient. I hope you found today's video helpful. For other tips and tricks, make sure you go to totalpickleball.com.